Hey, what's up everyone? Game Dad here, and it is that time again. It is time for Video Games Monthly, the monthly subscription service where you can get either three, four, five, or ten games sent to you as long as you subscribe to the corresponding tier and pay the amount of money that it costs. Now me, typically I subscribe to the four up option, so I get four games in each of the monthly boxes. However, since my collection is kind of filling out with the games that I get, it's typically Wii U, N64, and Import N64. I do have some other things on there, but I have worked it out with VGM so that what I can do is get games that might be higher value, but I get less games. So it still equals the same kind of value for the box, but I end up with less games sometimes. And yes, I already peaked because I just don't care anymore and I want to see the games right when they come in the mail. I don't want to wait for a video. So this month I have a couple of games in here, but it's higher value games that I didn't have. So let's crack this open and let's take a look-see. Now, first up, we have the bog standard uh, bubble wrap there. We have the social media card. If you go on social media, post about your experience, you are automatically entered in a chance to win a three up box. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. We have a Mario or just Nintendo themed slap bracelet. Yep, it doesn't fit. Sorry. And then we have two games right here. So the first one is one of the North American ones that I don't have. And I am so close to finishing the North American side of the set. But this first game is V Rally Edition 99. Let's take a look. So I've got to admit, this game is a lot better than I expected it to be. The levels are super fun. It has a lot of detail in it, honestly. It reminds me of like a cruising game, but actually more detail. And overall, the gameplay is really easy and straightforward. And it's just, it's good. It is a good racing game. And I was really impressed by this. I was not expecting much and the game definitely delivers. Now this next game is an import game and I did not have it on my list because I don't know why. I didn't find it on any of the lists when I was looking up for going for the entire global set for N64, but this is an import that I didn't have and it is Fighting Cup. Let's go ahead and take a look at Fighting Cup, import N64. And again, here we have a game that surprised me. This is Fighting Cup, and it had a nice variety of characters. It had really cool, like, 3D-style environments, and it was fun. I mean, is it a Street Fighter or a Mortal Kombat or a Tekken or anything like that? No, it's not. But overall, I mean, it was still a really fun game, and I was impressed with what it is. And, it, yeah, I mean, if you have never played Fighting Cup, you should definitely check it out. Now, just showing off two games in an unboxing will make for an incredibly short video. So I figured I would show you all the progress of what it looks like to have an entire global set of N64 games. I am very close. I think I have like 60 something games to go and that includes the player's choice variants as well. So I am very close to the full global set. Uh, but let's go ahead and switch cameras now and I will show you what the current N64 collection looks like. So as you can see here, I have all of my end labels and it starts with the North American set. It is all alphabetical. We're gonna go down and that's the first row. And here is row two. As you can see, I have end labels on everything because I think it makes it look nicer. I don't know why Nintendo chose to not have end labels on everything but this is all still part of the North American set. As you can see, it is almost complete. And then I actually have some homebrews right there and then the PAL exclusives, and then we get into the Japanese games. And here is more of the import Japanese games. There were definitely some exclusives to Japan, but I like how different the artwork is, so I decided to collect the full Japanese part of the set as well. That one's really cool. It has a modem built into the cart. And then we keep going, keep going, keep going, and there's the end of the import set. And then of course, on its own, in its own special acrylic case, Sculptor's Cut. That is actually, other than this box, the most recent N64 game that I picked up. And there you have it, everyone. Two new games to add to the collection. One for the North American side, one for the import Japanese side, and that much closer to completing my global N64 set. Now, I did not throw out the prices for these, but hey, in talking with VGM beforehand, they told me they were sending me a couple of games. They sent me the values for them, and they are the value of the box. So 
Financially, I got my value. Collector-wise, I got one, a game that I didn't have in the collection, and two, a game I didn't realize I needed in the collection because I didn't know it was a game. So, very cool box this month. And if you like today's video and you wanna check out another VGM video, then go ahead and check out this area right here. And if you would be so kind and you feel that I have earned it, then go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons down below and let me know down in the comments below, what is your favorite N64 game? Whether it's an import game, whether it's a North American game, whatever, let me know what it is down in those comments below. And as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching and I'll catch you later.